Enoch, chapter 1, verse 9. And behold, he comes with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all and to destroy all the ungodly and to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness, which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Chapter 50 of Enoch. And in those days a change will take place over the holy and the elect, and the light of days will abide upon them, and glory and honor will turn to the holy on the day of the affliction on which evil will have been treasured up against the sinners, and the righteous will be victorious in the name of the Lord of Spirits. And he will cause the others to witness this, that they may repent and forego the works of their hands. Joel 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand, a day of gloominess and darkness, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Like the morning clouds spread over the mountains, a people have come, great and strong, the like of whom has never been, nor will ever be again, for the sum of many generations. For a fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. Skipping down to verse 11, And the Lord gives his voice over his army, for his camp is great, and for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? Micah, verse 13. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make your horn iron, which is your power, and I will make your hoofs bronze, and you shall beat in pieces many peoples, and I will consecrate their gain to the Lord and their substance to the Lord of the whole earth. 